creating drainage profiles in ORD. Now there may be many different ways on how to create drainage profiles in ORD, but hopefully this video will give you some guidance on how to create the drainage profiles and then you can modify those or edit those as needed for your project. So the first thing that I have here is I have a drainage project that I've created in ORD and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to come up and go to my drainage and utilities and go to analysis, go to the compute center and for this example here I'm going to go ahead and use the central district base analysis 10 year storm event and I'm going to go ahead and compute it. And the convergence was achieved so I am good there. So I can go ahead and close that out and close that down also. And the reason why I did that is whenever we see our drainage profiles here in a little bit for this run or for this continuous run that's going to the outfall, whenever I run the computations of it for the hydraulics, inside the drainage profile, I'll be able to see my hydraulic grade line and also my energy grade line. So you'll see that here in a little bit. The next thing that I need to do is create what they call some profile runs. So let's go ahead and go to the layout tab. And there's many different ways on how to create a profile run. You can do a hydraulic run from node. You can do a hydraulic runs to outfall. And that's the one that we're going to use. And you have a couple of other ones here. So you can look at those as needed for creating your profile run, depending on which node or which node that you're wanting to go to. I'm going to go ahead and use this one that says hydraulic runs to outfall. And in my parameters here, you have a profile direction, which way you want to go. You can go up to down or down to up. We'll just do up to down. You have your nodes, depending on how they want to draw. You can do a box, line, triangle, cell, or a slice of the actual 3D cell. For this example here, we're going to go ahead and do a box. We will have a separate video of doing a slice where there's some good things about doing that and also some drawbacks with that. But for right now, we're going to use this example for box. And then my feature definition for that line that's going to be created for that profile run, I'm going to use the feature definition that is underscore profile underscore run. And that is located under linear design drainage and it's right here for the profile run. So once I have that, all I need to do is select the outfall. So for this drainage network, all the water is going to this particular outfall, which for this example here is just a generic node. And you'll see that it's gonna go through here and look at everything that's connected to it. And now if I go ahead and accept that by left clicking, it's gonna go through the computations and actually create those profile runs for it. So if I click on this little down arrow, you're gonna see that it created four profile runs. So now what I can do is come in there and look at those profile runs. Easiest way to do that is simply just right click over it, do an open profile model, and I'll just go ahead and use view number eight. And you'll see that particular profile run from this node right here to this manhole, which if you look on your screen right here, you'll see that it's looking at this particular run right here. And in your profile, you'll be able to see the profile depicted as a box for that manhole or that drop inlet. You'll see the pipe that's going through there, which you see the inner and outer wall for that particular concrete pipe. And we'll show you some options with that to either display both walls or just the inner wall or just the outer wall. We'll kind of show you some examples of that later on. But then also you see the these red this red line and also this blue line, which is the hydraulic grade line, and also the red one is the energy grade line. And there's ways you could turn that off if you wish to not see that. Now inside view number eight, which is the profile, you can come in here and resize that if you wish to depict that a little bit differently. So if I hold the shift key down and I use the wheel on my mouse, you can see that I can depict that however I want 
that to be displayed. So I can make that bigger or smaller depending on what size that I want. Same thing if I hold my control key down, you'll see I can resize it as needed just for viewing purposes. Another thing that you can look at is underneath the view attributes, underneath the civil option, you have the exaggeration, which you have some default ones that are already there. So if you want to make that an, an exaggeration of two, then it'll look just like this here. If I make it make that an exaggeration of five, you'll see that it exaggerates like that. So that's just some viewing options that you can change if need be. Next thing that we're going to do, since we have our profile created, now we're gonna go ahead and create our sheets. So what I wanna do is go ahead in view number eight or wherever I have my profile at, I'm gonna go ahead and hold my right mouse button down, go to named boundary, and go to the profile sheet. Now in my profile sheet, I'm gonna change my drawing seed to design full profile. Detail scale, all depends on how big that you want it. For this example here, we're gonna use a one to 20. Since that is a one to 20, our vertical exaggeration, we want that to set to two. If we were doing a 50 scale, we would set that to five and so forth. So what I wanna do now is down in your status bar here, it says identify your profile view, which is this right here. Now we're gonna go ahead and accept where do we want to start it at. And I'm just gonna select it somewhere along this line because I'm gonna modify the start location anyway. So I'll just go ahead and select on that profile and you'll see that it's going to build that profile. And this is the clipped sheet. Now for this, what we're going to do is actually resize that. Because what we're going to do after everything is all said and done is we're gonna take these profiles right here, all four of those, and put those onto one sheet instead of each one of those being individually on separate sheets. So that's what we're going to try to accomplish once this is done. So what I wanna do, let me go ahead and zoom back into this area. My start location, I'm gonna change that. I could set it right at the beginning if I needed to, but normally I want a little bit of coverage before this. So my grid work doesn't start right at that spot. So I'm gonna come in here and maybe do a negative 50. And you see that I have a little bit more coverage now. If I don't need that much, I could bump it down. It all depends on what you want for that. Next thing that I wanna do is change my length of it. So I don't need it going way out this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the length. And let's just go ahead and try 200. It's still a little bit too big, so I'll go ahead and bump that down to maybe 100. Okay, so you get the idea. It depends on how big that you want it. Maybe my start location, maybe I don't need it that far. Maybe I'll just bump that to, um, let's just say 30. So you can adjust these numbers as needed for your profile that you're creating. Since we're gonna combine those all into one sheet. You can see I'm just modifying these numbers as needed to get it to close to the right size that I want. I'll do, go ahead and do the same thing for the available height, because right now, by default, this height is basically the size of what your sheet is. So I'm gonna go ahead and bump that down also. Okay, so hopefully you get the idea. You can adjust those numbers as needed. A Couple other things that we're gonna change here is Use terrains, we're gonna go ahead and check that on. That way it uses the active terrain that's out there. It uses the active vertical. We're gonna go ahead and check mark that. And then also we're gonna go ahead and do the create drawing and show dialog box. So basically once you have this box the size that you want it, keep in mind that you probably will put some annotations on here. So don't make it to where it's real tight to it, make it to where you still have some area below here. So once I have that, I will go ahead and Left click to accept it. One more time to accept it. This brings up the create drawing. Inside of here, we're gonna go ahead and create it inside of this particular sheet for this example. One thing that we need to look at is our annotation scale, which is one to 20. That's good there. We wanna make sure our profile is set to profile grid 20. 
that looks good and of course our detail scale so go ahead and click on OK to that and then what you will see is this particular profile inside of this sheet model so so far what we've done is we've created a sheet model and also a drawing model for that particular drainage run that's out there but what we're going to do is actually combine those all onto one sheet so what I'm going to do next and I will pause the video I'm going to go ahead and go back to my default view and I'm going to create drawing and sheet models for each one of these so I've already done this one here I'm going to go ahead and do it to these four right here going through those exact same steps that I just did now that I've created the drawing models and sheet models for those particular profile runs and you can see that right here I got each one of those created so if I go to one of those here's the drawing model for it here's another drawing model for a different profile run for that drainage run that's going through there and then also you see that we have the sheet models for those and those are all broken out into individual sheets at least as of right now as you can see right there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back up to my home tab and I will go ahead and go to models which is underneath the primary tool set right here and what I'm going to do is actually make a copy of one of these since they're all 20 scale sheets I can just make a copy of one of those so let's go ahead and just use this one right here and I'll go ahead and make a copy of it and I'm going to go ahead and name this one drainage profiles and it looks just like the one that I just copied but what I'm going to do now is actually take these other drawing models that are out there and copy those into here so I can embed those onto one sheet versus those being into separate sheets so to do that all I need to do is go to my references and I have to do a tools attach and what we need to do now is go to where those are located at which of course is underneath this particular file right here so I just go ahead and click on add click on OK and right now it just does the default model I need to go ahead and change that so I will go ahead and right click over it and go to settings and instead of the default model I'm gonna go ahead and select one of these other drawing models I don't want to do the sheet I want to do one of the, the drawing models this one here I already have referenced in so I'm not going to do it again so let's go ahead and do this one first that says DI-MH-1 and then go ahead and click on OK and you'll see right here the model of which one is attached which is this right here and also this one right here so now if I go ahead and close that down and I will go ahead and need to do a fit view you'll see that it is attached right here now there's a couple things that I do need to change with that first thing that I will do is go back to my references and you'll see right here just the way how everything is cut and way it puts on the sheets is this right here is actually scaled down to fit that sheet it's just the way ORD works whenever it places the drawing models into the particular sheet model. It takes that particular drawing and scales it down to fit that sheet, which is model space, paper space. So what I need to do is do the same thing on this one right here, which is a scale of 1 to 240. I need to do the same thing on this one right here to make it sure it's the right size. So I will go ahead and change that, first of all. The other thing that I need to do is change my nesting depth because right now it actually has to look at not only what's in the drawing model but also files that are referenced to it which it's referencing back to the default model so this one here I need to go ahead and change it also so I'll do live nesting and I'll just make it a live, live nest of I can do the same thing as the other one I can do 99 or I could do one or two or three and then what it should show up now do a fit view you'll see that that profile looks more like what it should be so once I have that set 
Now all I need to do is to come in here and move it. So I'll just select move. Where do I want to move from? And now I can go ahead and zoom in and place it in the location that I want. And once I have that, just right click to reset it. And then I'm finished. So now I have that particular profile attached to this drainage profiles sheet model that I've created. So now I will go ahead and do the same thing to those other two. Go ahead and do tools attach. I'll go ahead and select that same file that we're in. And I'm going to go ahead and do it one more time because I know we have four particular drainage profile runs that are with this. Let's go ahead and change these right now. So that's set there. I'll go ahead and change the live nesting. And then now I will go ahead and attach the correct drawing model that's contained inside the sheet. So we'll go to settings and go to the model. And we have this one here already attached, this one here already attached. So let's go ahead and do this one right here. And then we'll do the same thing for this one right here. We'll do this one right here. So now, if we do a fit view, you're probably going to see both of those pretty much in the same spot. Now we just need to go ahead and move those. So we'll just right click over that, do a move, place it somewhere there, do the same thing for this one right here. So now we have all four of those particular drainage profiles inside of one sheet model, as you can see right here. Now in a separate video, we're gonna go through here and actually change how this particular manhole or this particular drop inlet is being depicted inside of the drawing model. We'll kind of show you some ways of changing that and how you can modify the sheets as needed to get everything looking correct for the manholes, the drop inlets, and also the annotation for it. Now, once you have this sheet created, if you want, you can leave these other ones out there if you wish. But what I would probably do is if you've got your sheets created for this particular drainage profile and these sheets are no longer gonna be needed, the sheet models, you will need the drawing models, of course. But the sheet models are no longer needed what I would probably do is go up to the models and I'll sort this by what type it is. I would just go through here and delete those ones that are no longer needed. That way it clears up a lot of headaches whenever you do the create renditions for what sheets are being contained inside of a particular file. So I can just come in here and right click over those, do a delete. Check that in. And now we should be good. So now we just have one sheet model that's containing all four of these drawing models inside of one sheet.